Wait, did we just start? <laughs> okay. It's all seriousness. Three, two, one. Hi guys, this is A Kids Playing. I'm Caitlin. And this is Ethan. We're gonna be doing experiment 12.1, the crayfish dissection from Exploring Creation with Biology from Apologia, the second edition. All right, so the things that you need is dissecting tools and tray that come with your dissection kit. So we've got those, the tools and the tray, the crayfish, spe crayfish specimen, a magnifying glass, which we do not have. Caitlin saves the day. And the laboratory notebook. And the object of this is to become more familiar with the crayfish's anatomy through a dissection. Fun. So, Ethan, you get out the crayfish. Okay. Yeah, this is a good Oh, my God. Your hands are all over it. Oh, I got to wash my hands now. Uh, no, you don't. Ethan, you're going to be touching it a lot more. All right. So, we're going to start off by examining and labeling the crayfish. So, obviously, this is the eye. Here are the antennules and the antennae. Um, these are the calipeds, these are the pincers, uh, the walking legs, this is the carapace, the swimmerets are down here underneath, you'll see them later when we flip it over, this is the uropods that helps it to swim, um, the telson is over on this other side, this is the abdomen, all right, and now we turn it around. So now we're going to be examining the mouth of the crayfish. It's going to be moving. These are the mandibles, these little white things. Um, these must be the maxillipeds. So Ethan, you get to do this. I believe they're saying take these out. It's like use one hand to hold this down, use the other to pull it. What out? I really hope that's all right. You can see them moving. Haha, -ha, there's one. It's like pulling teeth. Hmm. Now determine the sex of your crayfish. You can do this by closely examining the swimmerets. In males, the two most anterior pairs of the swimmerets are modified by sperm transfer. As a result, they are larger than the others and prong-shaped. In females, the two most anterior parts of the swimmerets are small in size relative to the others. This is the posterior, so this is the anterior, and these are the swimmerets. They look longer. I guess. I mean, they look longer than these, so it must be a male. And use your scissors to cut the crayfish's carapace from the posterior end of the carapace to just behind the eyes. So we're gonna go from here to like right here. And then we're gonna make a transverse cut just behind the eyes. So from here to here, and then from here to here. All right, so Ethan. Yeah. I'll hold it up, you cut. So you cut it right there. Make sure you cut straight. Right here, just hold it down as hard as you can. Holding the scissors up and down. So disgusting. It's not as hard to cut as the worm was, which is funny. So we've gotten to here. We want to cut it up to here. Here. Let me see if I can poke a hole. There. Hmm. I went all the way through, but that is okay. Now what? Just keep... Don't push it extra, just cut it. Only cut it to that hole. That's good. And now we want to cut it from here to here. Just kind of get your scissors in there. We're completely destroying it. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Crayfish. Stop looking at me. All right, that is done. Carefully remove the carapace in the two pieces determined by your cuts. This should expose the gills. Well, it's not really coming apart in two pieces. And I'm afraid I'm taking the gills with. Ugh. 
people eat this? Yes. I think. Mom, do people eat this? I think so. We could look that up. Do they, they, I'll probably cook it first. I, oh. <laughs> Maybe it looks better once it's cooked. Probably. I mean, do you want to eat that? I'm staring at you with his sad, sad eyes. No. Don't eat me, Ethan! Don't eat me! Now we examine the structure of the gills, count the gills, and record the number in your notebook. One, two... Oh, oh, you can see them on the other side. One. Right there, there's one. I guess, yeah, yeah there's another There's one. another two. There looks like three, I think. And then on the other side, there should be the same amount. So six. Yeah. To make things easier, pull off the walking legs. We are just destroying this poor crayfish. Or it's dead. It is <sighs> just like pulling out teeth. Yeah. Can I do it? Sure. I mean, no, you hold it down. <laughs> Don't want to do all the dirty work. Get off of me. I, th I think that's good. No, there's there's more. Okay, I want to okay. do it. Almost done, Ethan. Got a negative D. No, no, no. <laughs> this last one. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got all over my arm. <laughs> it looks a lot different now. But we still have the eyes. We pulled off the walking legs. Carefully remove the internal tissue on the dorsal side of the crayfish. That sort of looks like tissue. Ethan, would you like to do this? Rip it out. You have to be careful and only get like muscle. Slowly make sure he's dead. Ugh. It's like you should use a spoon to do this. Okay. Just dig out. You won't really have to pull. Just the stuff in there. Yeah, Ethan, you tore out his heart. Oh, well, get the heart. Which one was it? I think it's right here. Oh. Is that his heart? I think so. Okay, go ahead. Tell us about the heart. This is his heart. It keeps him alive. Now we know he's dead. So here's his heart. We're going to try and get the stuff. Um, up here is the stomach. I so then here's the digestive glands. We kind of torn them apart. Oh, no. These are the digestive glands. It says down here, if it's a male, you should see circular tubes. Oh, I think I see them right there. Now you need to cut open the abdomen right here to reveal the intestine. Cut the dorsal side of the abdomen. Yep. From the interior end to the telson. So here to here. Ah, being a scientist is hard work. Now we take this off as we did the other excess, other part, without ripping things off this time. Look, this is, look for a tube that runs its length. That's this one. That's the intestine. Notice also the tissue beneath. These are the abdominal muscle, abdominal muscles. So these, that, which, these are the parts of the crayfish that we eat, or lobster or shrimp. Alright, follow the intestine forward to find the stomach. So that must be, if that's the heart. Oh, more up here. This, this must have been where the stomach was. Oh, this must be the stomach. Pull the stomach so that you can reach underneath it with your knife. Now that you've cleaned out the digestive organs, sure you should be able to see the green glands 
just posterior to and below the antennules. So these, yeah, I see them right down here. Can you see? Right here, this circle and right here are the green glands. Looking between the eyes, you should see a mass of white tissue. This is the crayfish's brain. Oh, yeah, right back there, be behind. Yeah. Try to trace the nerve cord from the brain to the abdomen. Oh, I see it right here. This cord. And back. And then here's the intestines again. Right to the abdom abdominal. So that must be the nerve cord right there. All right, so that's everything. It says then that we clean up everything, wash and dry your tray tools, put everything away. Thanks guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Eight kids out. Wait, was that the exit? No, no I was practicing. Okay. And then Is there we... something you want to say? No, just go by. It's tough. Okay, are you ready? Thanks guys. <laughs> Thanks guys, this is Akit's Wait, playing. I'm going to do the outro. Don't forget to say like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. I want to do go, the outro. Go. Wait, I have to think what we're gonna. I'm gonna say. Okay. Thanks guys, Three. this is Akit's playing. Like, comment, and subscribe for no. more new. Vid <laughs> say the entire thing. Hey guys, this is eight. Hey guys, this has been eight kids playing. Like, comment, and subscribe for more new videos. Eight kids out. Bye. You can't do that.